what is up guys welcome back to my channel uh for some of you who haven't been on my channel my name is Josue and welcome to jay's world um i post videos on a weekly basis of me thrifting vlogging and today's actually gonna be my first vlogging slash thrifting video at the thrift store so if i seem a little awkward i'm so sorry i've just never done something like this uh but yeah let's go ahead and get started and get into some good thrifting all right, so I just wanted to show you guys really quick um, my outfit for today because I thought it was so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just wearing like a hoodie. It's a Brooklyn hoodie and it's so cute because I love how it has the flames on it. Sorry, my room is like not complete right now. But uh, I'm wearing these mom jeans from Neptuna, I think is how you say it. But yeah, they're so cute. And yeah, I just love my outfit today. Like, I'm feeling very like sporty, but yeah, feeling cute. And these pants were thrifted. I thrifted these at the thrift store in LA. It's called Vincent de Paul, same Vincent de Paul. And I believe they were only like six bucks. So that's a pretty good steal. And yeah. Also, I might be posting videos of different outfits that be cool to wear you know just something that is different you know we like to stand out so yeah let's now let's go ahead and go to the thrift store all right guys so i just got to the thrift store and um i am at rad thrifts uh they never fail me always have good jeans good shirts so i'm really excited i'm hoping that i find some good goodies um it's like a really nice day outside if you can tell um but yeah Let's go ahead and go inside and I'm going to try and get some clips of the store. The store is like, it's a very old vintage store. So it's going to be like a lot of like trash and some things might be trash. Some things might not. Let me clarify that. Um, but the store is just like very messy too. Um, for me, the messier the store, the better. Like honestly, because that's where you find the good shit. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this video started and... See you guys inside.
Hey guys, uh, so welcome back. It's actually been a whole day uh, since I last went thrifting. Um, so that's why I'm in a different outfit. Um, I actually thrifted this shirt, not on that thrifting haul, but um, like two months ago. It's actually pretty cute. Um, yeah, so like I had mentioned before, uh, the video is actually going to consist of a bunch of thrifting like, items that I've gotten, like hella freaking shit that I've gotten. Um, sadly, when I went to Red Thrift Store, I did find some things that I wanted to get, but I was like, no, never mind. Like, it's very hard for me to actually pick something out because I have a very particular taste um that's one thing that i don't like about myself is i'll let something go if it doesn't really call out to me so but hey everybody has their own things so yeah just stay tuned for the video and remember to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get this video started right. so what we're first going to start off with is some jeans and like some other type of stuff I hope so let's go ahead and start from these. Okay, so I thrifted these at Rad, actually. And I just thought they were so cool because they're like, I don't know, they're like these cargo pants in a way. I love the little patch that it has like over. Oh, wrong side. Where that? Oh, right here. I thought this patch was like so cute that I had on it and they fit me kind of like high-waisted, so that's a plus. Um, I've been into high-waisted right now recently, I don't know why. Um, I think it's like a pretty fun fashion, so yeah. I believe I got these for like... I think these were pretty pricey. Pretty pricey for me is paying like $8 for a pair of jeans that I've thrifted. Um, I usually try and go for like... Rad usually has jeans for like $3.95. Uh, like good jeans. I have some of them right here that I've gotten for $3.95. Uh, but yeah, I believe those were like $8 maybe. I can't remember that good, but yeah, I mean, they were a score. I haven't worn them yet. I've tried them on and I like how they look, but I just haven't found like a good outfit to wear them with. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the next one. These are so cute because they are Ralph Lauren and I've been really into Ralph Lauren for some reason and I love how it has like that like leather patch in the back that says um, Polo Jean Ralph Lauren and these are kind of like they remind me of Dickies in a way uh, I love the like old school like washed out blue it's very vintage i believe i paid for these like oh what it was it might have been like five five bucks maybe it's really not that bad um let's see next we have some wrangler jeans uh these i've actually already worn but i thought i'd show them in the thrift because i got them not so long ago these I probably had like less than a month with. I like how it has that like little patch right there. Um, these are in a size 34 by 30. So these are perfect for me. I'm a size 34 or a 32 depending. Um, but I like that these are 30 because they're not like overlapping over my shoe or anything. They just fit right. So these are like everyday wear. I wear these sometimes to work. And I believe I got these for like four or five dollars. I might have no, actually I like. I got these for three ninety five. These are part of the three ninety five ones that I got. And then I hate myself because I literally just washed these, and for some reason it got this stain on them. Like I was so mad because I'm like, oh my, like, these are so cute. But if anything, I can just like I can make it work. But they are Polo Rock Thorn. I love how it has that cute little vintage patch on it. And they're just cute little shorts right now for like the springtime. 
I believe I got these for like two dollars at Rad. So Rad is pretty much like the only thrift store that I go to here in town. Sometimes I'll go to like Salvation Army or Goodwill, but most of them like are already picked out. Rad for some reason keeps like bringing in stuff, even though people go and pick it out like hello. But I'll go sometimes like early in the morning, right when they open, and they'll have really good stuff. So it's really not that bad. And then on to the next ones. These are my Faded Glory jeans in a size. I believe I got these a size bigger. Okay, yeah. These say that they're 38, but they really don't fit like a 38. They fit like almost like if they were like 36. And I like how it's like a washed out jean color. Um, I really wanted some like these right now for the spring coming up. You know, I thought I'd wear like a tucked in shirt with it. Maybe this one that I'm wearing right now with like a cute little belt. You know, um, I believe I got those for like five. Those might have been like five dollars. But I thought they were so cute and um, they fit high waisted. They're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's why I got them. And then now these. These are like, ugh. I literally only got these because of the patches. Something about me is I love a good pair of jeans with like a huge logo on them. So like, mostly all my jeans will have a big logo on them. These are by... Lauren Jeans by Ralph Lauren in a size 16 in women and they fit me oversized literally like they're so cute and then they are like they do fit me a bit smaller like in length size um, they kind of go above my shoe a bit but I kind of like that style because I can wear like some cool funky socks with it and then I can wear like my Fila shoes which are like my go-to's and yeah, I believe I got, these were like $6, but I was like, no, I have to take them because I'm not going to find any, like any more of like these. And then now we have these like cute Tommy Hill figure, like shorts. Um, they are a little bit long. I believe those, are, I don't know what these are called actually, like, they're like shorts that go like under the knee a bit on girls. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're from Tommy. I'm actually thinking of turning these into shorts, like kind of cutting them up a bit more. And like, I kind of want to maybe find somebody to draw something on them or like maybe try and draw something on them myself, like on the cute little pockets. Again, I got them because they were like super washed out. And that's like the kind of style I'm going for right now. And I believe I got those for... I think they might have been like, um, oh, actually side note, I don't know where my mind is right now. I actually found those at a, at a yard sale. I think the lady sold them to me for like $2. She sold them to me along with, oh shit, that was my phone. Along with the jeans that I'm wearing right now. Ew, look at my feelings. They are dirty. All dirty, all bad. <laughs> But, um, yeah. I'm sitting on this, like, cushion that I bought from Urban Outfitters, and it's like a, it's like the palm of a hand, but, um, it makes me more fucking noise. Okay. And now to, like, my favorite pair of jeans. Oh my god, these are, like, well, I actually have two pairs. Three, actually, come on It's very hard for me to choose. Um, I actually might show them in this video, so I'll get them right now in a bit. But, um, it's these Versace jeans. Oh my god, they're actually made from Versace Jean Couture. When I found these, I found these at a fleet market here in town. Um, I was like, oh my god, I'm like, I have to have this. And I told the guy, I was like, how much are they? And then he's like, they're 10 bucks. I was like fucking soul. He had two pairs of them. The second ones didn't fit me, but I kind of regret not getting them now because I probably could have like hustled them on the side of my Poshmark or on my Depop. Oh, and by the way, if you don't follow me already on my Depop page or my Poshmark, my Poshmark is at Josue Becerra and then my Depop page is at 
underscore city thrifts. Um, that was my old spot that I used to have at Throwback Junction. Um, but yeah, look at how cute like the little emblem is on these. And it has a little Medusa right there. Ugh, these are just so cute. They are a little bit torn around the patch area, but I know somebody who can fix them. So it's really not a big issue for me. Like, they are so cute. Yeah, they're not like that washed out jean material, but I mean, come on. Where else are you going to find Versace jeans? Wait, these are so cute. And then, now to my second pair of favorite jeans are these Polo Jean Ralph Lauren. Oh my god, these are like so cute. The patch is like literally big as hell. They're like in a dark blue color. They are so cute. Like, I also got these at the same place that I got these Versace ones at. And I also got these for $10, so I paid like $20 for both. But really, it's not that bad because jeans like this at a Goodwill or a Salvation Army will run you for like $15 to $20. Like, they will literally price the shit out of these. Like, and I was so happy when I found them because I literally found them one rack apart from each other. So I was so happy. Like, <laughs> yes. And they are literally my size. Like, I am so happy with these. And like I said before, if you know me, I've been really into Ralph Lauren lately. But now we're going to go ahead and get into the shirts that I've thrifted. And then we'll wrap up this video. Let's get started with the shirts. Um, the first one, I actually got this one a month ago at a thrift store in LA. It's called uh, St. Vincent de Paul and it is a like math car shirt. I thought it was so cute. Sorry for it being wrinkled. <clears throat> Look at how cute this is. Like, oh my god. Now that I've noticed on it, the car says like Office Depot on it, but I don't even fucking care. Because I've been looking for like car shirts, I think they're so cute to wear like oversized or see look like this one, but I have another car shirt. Um, I just really like them right now for the spring, uh, they're so cute. Um, I believe I got that one for like a dollar that day because uh, it was, I believe it was like a purple tag day and the shirt was on a purple tag so I was like yes, thank god. My next one, I actually thrifted this one at the same fleet market that I went and thrifted the Ralph Lauren and the Versace ones and it is a Kobe Bryant shirt, a black mamba in a size extra large. I like it because it's actually vintage and on the back it says this, if LeBron is king then call me bus be an emperor. This is so cute. Like, and it's literally an old shirt, so I know it's vintage as hell. Like, and it's from a brand called Revolution Vintage Couture. It is uh, made in the U.S. It is so nice. I'm thinking of keeping it for a while, but then I might hustle it on my Depop page or on my uh, Poshmark. Um, like I said, that one was a dollar, so it was a good thrift. And then I also got another shirt at that same location that from the same one Kobe this is from his 2009 championship game um, I got this one for a dollar as well with that one she had like six shirts in a row but the other ones all they said was like Laker number 24 or they had other stuff and they were kind of more beat up and she was like I'll give you all six of them for six dollars which is like a dollar each but I was like no I really don't like like the other ones but I did like these um, like I said I might keep it for a bit and then hustle it on my Poshmark so or on my Depop uh, the next shirts that I got are from Vans um, these I thrifted them at Rad they were like four bucks each but they were so cute um, this is the back of it it says Vans off the wall and then on the front it just says Vans off the wall again and it is oversized. It's uh, an extra large. Since I work at Zoomies, these are these shirts pretty much run for like like twenty four, almost thirty dollars. So for me to find it for like three bucks, it's like hell yeah. And then I also got this one. This one is super cute. I like like all the bright colors on it. It doesn't have any writing on the back, but I just love the detail on it. It's so nice. 
Um, again, it's oversized. It's an extra large. I'm guessing the same person just donated them. So, but yeah, I got this one for like four dollars as well. This next shirt I found it in Santa Clarita. Uh, we were visiting my sister out there, and I ended up going to the Goodwill. And it is a Nautica shirt. It says that it's like a sleeping wear one, but it doesn't fit like a sleeping wear shirt. Like it just fits nice, comfortable. It's good material. I got this shirt for a dollar because it was green tag day and what do you call it the shirt was in a green tag so I was like that's a good score this next one is super cute I had actually seen this one at a different thrift store but I didn't pick it up and I'm so glad I found it at a different one it's a Tommy uh, sport shirt um, it's so cute it's super lightweight some of the stitching is like messed up but I mean for something that's thrifted it's okay I guess and this one was seven dollars but I'm like where else are you gonna find anything Tommy like that's another brand that I really like I like Tommy Hilfiger um, like I said Ralph Lauren and Versace so it's like you know and then this one I thrifted at Rad too it's a Ralph Lauren crew neck sweater in a size large so it's so cute I love the stitching on this part right here on the side it says polo co Ralph Lauren on it it's so cute and on the bottom it has like a little flag with like it says Ralph Lauren on it it's just so cute this one I paid eight dollars for but I didn't mind because these shirt, these shirts, my bad. These sweaters literally at the actual Polo Ralph Lauren store run you for like about seventy to eighty dollars. So I was good. I'm like, hell yeah, girl, this is cool. This next one I got at uh, Saint Vincent de Paul, the same place that I got my other um, NASCAR shirt, and it is a YSL shirt. See, look. You can't really see the stitching right there, but it says YSL. And I know it's real because it has the original YSL tag on it. This one, I got it for $3. I was so happy because literally everybody was just passing by it. I was like, really? Like, there was other thrifters there. Like, you can tell when somebody goes and, like, knows what they're looking for and stuff. And it's like an actual thrifter. Um, oh my god. I don't know if you can see in the video, but I was like shaking for a bit. My back hurts from like sitting on this fucking chair. Me trying to be Tumblr AF. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got this shirt for, I think I said $3, right? Three or four. Um, and I love the material on it. It's very fresh. It's in a size medium, but it fits like a large. So I'm like so happy with it. I still haven't worn it yet because I haven't decided what I want to wear it with yet. Um, but yeah, this was like a really good thrift as well. And then lastly is this super cool friends hoodie in a size large. I got this at the Santa Cl at the Goodwill in Santa Clarita uh, when I went to go visit my sister. Like I said, I got this for seven dollars, and I was like, it's a steal because it's in perfect condition. It looks vintage because it's kind of worn out, like. But it's not worn out to the point where you're like, oh, that's gross. Um, but yeah, I was so happy when I found this. I love watching the show Friends. Like, I'm so mad that they took it off of Netflix. But yeah, I think it's so cute. Maybe to wear it tucked in in some jeans. Um, but yeah, so cute. I Like I said, I got that for like seven bucks. So yeah, that concludes the end of this thrift haul. I would have made it bigger, but... Literally, it might take up to like three or four hours to get everything in my closet that I've thrifted because like I have so much thrifted clothing. Um, I am going to upload a video where I have like my gems, like thrifting items that I've like cherished so much because they're super rare. I will be doing a video like that. Uh, remember to just like and subscribe in my video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!